Hey guys, we're back again as a team. Yeah. What we're gonna do now is use my traditional sambar masala into making a really healthy, epic lunch of salmon. Now, in this recipe, you could pan fry the salmon, but we are gonna air fry it, or you could put it in the oven. However, I'm gonna air fry it. So, very simple. The only spice that you need is my sambar masala, but we're gonna just pimp it up a bit with some more flavors. We'll make a quick marinade, and marination, as you know, always has got something acidic in it. But before we begin, we're gonna put in, what is that? Salt. Salt. Put a little more than what you would need, because in an oven or in an air fryer, as the meat, the protein gets cooked, it tends to shed a lot of salt. So it'd go a little more than what you would usually put in. What am I putting in now, Siddhant? Sambar masala. Sambar masala, absolutely. We first put in one, two, three, three four, five, 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 maybe six teaspoons for a kilo and a half of fish. Let's make it seven teaspoons. Seven, seven. teaspoons. In. Excellent. Can you give it a quick mix, Siddhi? Perfect. That's about a juice of one and a half lemons, about three, three and a half tablespoons. What do we add next? Garlic! Yes. How much garlic would you want there, Sadhan? Five. Five pots? So garlic is, as per taste, as you can see, some of us like more garlic than others. It smells delicious. It smells incredible. And we will take about 15 grams of ginger. So 15. And grate it using the same grater. Next thing we're gonna add is curry leaves. Curry leaves. Take about five to six curry leaves. I have got about one, two, three, four, five, maybe seven six, curry leaves. Seven, yeah. Now, if you don't have curry leaves, it's not really needed uh, because we have added curry leaves in our spice blend as we make it. Uh, but then, if you do have fresh curry leaves, it brings in an absolutely different dimension onto this dish. And curry leaves take beautifully to heat, so you don't have to worry about curry leaves in your air fryer. I made these curry leaves into a little tiny bundle, and I'm gonna just cut it into this. Use some refined oil or extra virgin olive oil, and we'll make a marinade paste. I'm gonna use about four to five tablespoons of oil time to get your hands dirty time to get his hands dirty Sitan, mix it up now what we're gonna do is take the sambar masala marinade and apply it generously on our salmon steaks and we should be good to go in about an hour Sitan, pick one of those steaks up perfect get it in there properly on the skin everywhere That was easy. You let that fish marinate for about an hour. You can actually keep it longer. Don't worry about what the acid is going to do to, to the fish. Nothing, it's just gonna make it better. So we let it marinate for about an hour, hour and a half, and we will be ready for our air fryer. That fish is looking awesome. It's been in the refrigerator for two hours now. You could keep it overnight and trust me, nothing will happen. That marinade does not mess anything up. Now, the rules of engagement while using an air fryer. Put it into the air fryer, don't crowd it. You need to have some space around the fish for it to cook well. So, take a nice steak. I think the place in my air fryer is just enough to have two pieces. Because the steaks of my salmon are rather thick, I'll be cooking it at about 170 degrees for seven minutes, and then we'll finish it off for another three to four minutes at maximum 200 degrees to get a beautiful crust on top. Let's start. This is done. Wow. 
that is looking amazing. I'm gonna stick with this. You can put it for two to three minutes again at 200 degrees centigrade to just firm up the top a bit more. But to me, the color is perfect. I think it's evenly cooked all the way through. I guess it's time to eat.